With there already being two movies based on the 2013 Boston bombing tragedy on the way, one being directed by David Gordon Green called Stronger and another starring Casey Affleck called Boston Strong, you can now add a third film to that list that is moving forward. Director Peter Berg, who directed films such as Lone Survivor, Friday Night Lights, and Hancock, is taking the helm of Patriot's Day. Patriot's Day will tell the story from the perspective of Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis. Clark, do you buy or sell the idea of Patriot's Day being directed by Peter Berg? Um, you know, I I guess I buy it, but I more sell the idea of a third movie about this. Um, not to say that, you know, I, I, I kind of keep this short and sweet. I, I think Peter Berg is a talented director. Uh, we're really cl- still close as, a, as the United States. We're very close to this incident having just happened. Um, I guess that's a different conversation to have in general uh, if we need one movie this close to it, but especially three is a lot. Um, so... I mean, I guess Pete Berg would do a cool, do cool stuff with it, but I'm not. This isn't this isn't for me something that I'm like jumping up and down to see in the first place. Brought to you by the filmmaker who gave you Battleship. No, yeah. um, I yeah. like I do like Peter Berg. Like everybody's got a bad day at the office. Battleship was him. <laughs> I mean, Steven Spielberg had uh, was that one with Tom Hanks at the airport. Oh, the terminal. Oh, the terminal. terminal. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, that's like, always. There's a couple. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, so all the great ones have bad days. Obviously, <laughs> Battle Battleship is definitely right. Peelberg. Look, on one hand, I'm going to sell this because on the one hand, I think Peterberg's a good, you know, a good filmmaker. I think Mark Wahlberg is an exceptional producer. Um, Mark Wahlberg is attached to produce, and he may even star in this thing. He's been in like four. He's like filming two movies with Peterberg right now. Right. Now, so he may even start it, and I like that talent assembly, and I like you telling me from the police commission perspective. But the reason I sell it is because having a film about an incident like that a couple of years ago, I think is important. I think it's good because you know it tells the stories that we didn't get to see in the 24-hour news cycle. We get to see, you know, hear from voices that we didn't hear and all that kind of stuff, and, and really let us know about the unsung heroes that happened around the story. I think that's great. Two movies doing it. Okay, maybe you can give us a bit of a different perspective. Three movies doing it. Now it reeks of Hollywood just taking advantage of a tragedy to try to cash in. Now, for all I know, because I don't know, maybe Patriot's Day was the first one to go into development. And then the other, so I don't know the order of which, so I'm not going to pin blame on whichever, who came first, who came second, who came third, don't know. But the fact that there are three films coming out about this at the same time, that they're all in development right now, to me says, okay, Maybe somebody along the lines had really good intentions for making this, but somewhere along the line, some some Hollywood executive anywhere said, let's just take advantage of a tragedy. Look, I don't hold any studio to blame if they think, hey, this is an important story and we think we can make money on it. That's the whole, that's the movie business. I get it. But when you can't even say, this is an important story to be told, two other people are retelling it. Oh, well, let's just get to the money part. It, it just feels a little icky to me. Maybe I'll feel differently about it later. Maybe all three movies will be so radically different and tell the stories from such different points of view that I'll be glad there are three. So maybe that'll happen. For right now, though, I gotta sell it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I agree with you, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it for the same reasons. I was thinking about United ninety three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Oliver Stone had mm-hmm. the film with Nick Cage. I think I can't remember what which that, I liked by the yeah. way. I mean, but they're told from all these different perspectives of a of a tragedy. So I feel like. I, I don't think any of the <clears throat> I don't think any of the filmmakers involved or the, the studios are necessarily trying to like you know it's not like volcano versus Dante's Peak or right. you know <laughs> Armageddon versus what's that other Deep one? Impact. Deep Impact. I don't think it's like that for sure. I think it's uh you know all these uh, scripts were being developed about it and then they're just all just happening naturally at the same time. I wouldn't be surprised if of the three, one of them becomes a a direct to DVD or one of them. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They all seem to have pretty. That, see, I thought about that too, but all three of them seem to have fairly significant players attached yes. to them. So, but I I like that they're all being told from different perspectives. Yeah. I think Peter Berg's is being told more from the police commissioner mm-hmm. and the we've got to catch these guys kinds of things. Like when they were blocking off all of Boston and going home by home. I think you'll see a lot of that in his film, and you'll see the human side of the perspective from Stronger, from David Gordon Green, like just a person on the street, and then this tragedy happening. And I'm not familiar with this, the, the the third one, but I buy all of them. It's you know for us, it's like all of us experience that tragedy from afar, from seeing it on mm-hmm. TV, or yeah. if you were actually there, that's even worse, you know. But to see a film, I'm sure they're all being made with like the utmost respect to the people who you know the three people who died and the 260 people who were injured. So it's a horrible thing, and it's. Sometimes films are a 
a good way to be to get a closer perspective on something that seems so afar when you watch it on the news. So good point.